Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. So I am Darshan Skoda, pursuing my B.Tech first year in Computer Science and Engineering. In this video, let's discuss all the subjects which I am studying in my first year, okay? So let us go through one by one. For all of that and more, subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss out any informative videos like this. And then, I am planning of uploading uh, many informative videos regarding placements, regarding freelancing and many interesting topics. To never miss out on that, click on the subscribe button immediately. Let's proceed to the subject which I would like to take here is Engineering Mechanics. Yeah, this is one subject which I am studying. So let us discuss uh, each subject briefly. Yeah, this comprises of uh, a domain of physics where we have learned in 11th class. You may have learned in 11th standard and 12th standard if you have taken physics as your subject. Yeah, there you may have learned about uh, kinematics. The first uh, uh, division where you have learned about kinematics and the Newton's laws of motion. All these come under a broad domain of physics which is known as mechanics. So this mechanics whatever you have learned in your 11th and 12th that has to be applied here in engineering mechanics so first subject name is engineering mechanics second thing which i am going to tell you is i mean second subject which i am going to share with you is yeah it is uh, engineering chemistry so you may have come across chemistry yeah that's for sure in your 11th class and your 12th class whatever you learn in chemistry that things you are going to apply it here along with some uh, the practical stuff will be a little more here okay so you will have chemistry lab every week and for that you have to prepare like not only theory wise also you have to go practical wise too so in uh, your 12th class you may have done some titrations and some short analysis kind of things but still here the level up the level rises and then you may have to cope up with it so engineering chemistry comprises of chemistry itself like what you have learned in 11th and 12th but you have to apply that over here yeah the same thing follows here too and then coming to the next one functional english so i would like to take functional english as my third subject which i am going to tell you yeah that is one course where you get a relief okay so that's like uh, since first standard you are studying english and its grammar so that will be not be a big uh, thing for you so you will be able to cope up with it like it will go smoothly so that time can be used to study other subjects here then going to the next subject the next subject which i am going to discuss here is innovation studies yeah, since I am a computer science and engineering student, so I have a subject known as innovation studies where we learn about innovation, creativity and uh, solving real life problems using the technical approach or the um, uh, computer science approach. Okay, so that is known as innovation studies. That's a new subject. You may have not encountered it till now, like till 12th class. So that will be a new experience and that will be good. Okay, so that's not bookish thing. That's a thing where you use your mind rather than mugging up stuff. So I liked it a lot. Then going on to the next subject engineering mathematics so i took it a bit late because many people will have a phobia for mathematics but still yeah engineering mathematics is just related to the 11th and 12th class mathematics which we learn over there if you are a pcmc or pcmb student you will have maths for sure and that maths will be used here too but the level will be raised so that is understood okay so if you are an engineering student then the level should be raised because you have come from class 12th and you have you are going to graduate in the next four years for that the level will be little high but still you can cope up if you are strong with your basic foundation yeah that's one thing which i had to tell you here and then coming to the next subject it is engineering graphics and design okay so i have my sixth subject as engineering graphics and design so that comes under department of mechanical engineering but still since it's my first year i am studying that subject too if any mechanical engineer should do should work on any project first he'll put an outline of it okay so you may have heard about CAD uh, outlines, CAD drawings and all. Suppose I'll take an example of a, uh, what shall I take? Yeah, your car is designed. So whenever you have to design a car, first you like to write a basic outline of the car. So to write that, they use some softwares too. So this engineering graphics and design doesn't have theory at all. So it's all about practical, like applying what you learn in the classes. So there they teach about projections, orthogonal projections, 3D projections. I mean, whatever you see, you put it into a drawing, okay? So drawing means not in a hand. So it will be done in a software too. And then you should write it in your practical record too. Like it, there will be a special sketchbook for that. And then you should take it down there itself. Yeah, this is about engineering graphics and design. Last but not the least, I have a subject called elements of electronics and communication engineering. So this comes under electronics and communication department. But still, since as I said already, I, since I'm studying my first year, so this is a subject which I am studying in my first year too. So this comprises everything about, you may have come across diodes and uh, uh, applications of diodes in your class 12th itself in the chapter semiconductor electronics. But still, that will be a basic thing on which you will be going to build up things. Yeah. That will be like a foundation on which you will go, be going to construct a building where you will be going to learn about BJTs, MOSFETs. Yeah, these are all non 
complex terms but then all of these are regarding diodes itself so we will be going to learn those things so this was it guys so these are the seven subjects which come under my curriculum for my first year engineering in my college i really enjoyed narrating each and every subject with you so sharing my subjects with you so if you did the same then immediately click the like button so that i'll be getting some motivation to upload these type of informative videos in the near future and then if you have any doubts or suggestions immediately put it on the comment section and last but not the least i would like to tell you regarding our telegram group in which uh, around 800 engineers continuously discussing efficient topics and efficient talks are going on over there immediately join it if you haven't joined it so that will benefit you share this video with your friends too so that it will be a benefit for them too so informing that so this is darshan escoda signing off and we are brothers together so let's meet in the next video guys thank you guys thank you bye